Notes 2i, Writing Systems of Linear Equations Objective, I can write a system of linear equations given a table, graph, or a verbal description. Essential question, what is the importance of knowing how to set up a system given a real life scenario? Vocabulary, System a collection of two or more equations with the same set of unknowns. Lattice point, where the grid lines or a graph intersect. Intersection, where two or more things meet. Matrix, an arrangement of coefficients into rows and columns. Write equation from a line review. So we have this line, and here's our table. To find the equation, we need to find both our slope m and our y-intercept b. So to find our slope, let's go ahead and find two lattice points on the graph. Here's one. And here's another one. This slope is decreasing, so it's a negative slope. Let's draw our triangle. It rises one and it runs one, two. So that means that our slope M is negative because decreasing, and the rise is one, the run is two. So our slope is negative one half. Our B, our y intercept, is negative 2. So minus 2. So your equation is y equals mx plus b. y equals negative 1 half x minus 2. Now we're going to label two equations on the same graph, on the same grid. So equation one is going to be the thick blue line. We're writing a system of two linear equations. It's a system because there is two equations here, not just one. So let's find our lattice points. Here's one right here. And we do one right here. This is a decreasing slope. So that means that it's negative. Let's go ahead and make our triangle. It rises one, two, three, and it runs one, two, three, four. So our slope, so our first slope M1 is negative three over four. And our B, is 1, 2, plus 2. Now let's find our equation, y equals mx plus b, y equals negative 3 fourths x plus 2. Let's go ahead and find the second equation. So we have a last point right there, and a last point right there. Let's draw our triangle. It rises one, two, three, and it runs one. This is also a decreasing slope, so it's also negative. So our second slope, M2, is negative, rise, which is three, run is one. That equals negative three. And our B, is the same as the first b, plus 2. So we have y equals mx plus b. y equals negative 3x plus 2. The solution to this system of equations is their intersection. They both intersect, they both cross right here at 0 comma 2. So their intersection is 0, 2.
the solution to the system is x equals 0 and y equals 2. For the other part of this video, we're going to be writing expressions and equations given word problems or other verbal descriptions. The first thing you need to do is identify keywords before setting up any of these models. Some common keywords for equals is is, are, the same as, was, were. Subtracting words, decreased, dropped, difference. Adding words, sum, total, increase, combined. Multiplication words, per, times, product, doubled, each with a number. And division words, quotient, ratio, half, each without a number. Of course, there are many other keywords. These are just some of the ones that appear most often. Writing expressions for verbal descriptions. Number one, each pencil box has six pencils and each pen box has f four pens. Write an expression with X pencils and Y pens. So we're saying the pencils are X and the pens are Y. How many pencils are in each box? We have six. So six pencils in each box. And, and is a plus sign for y. That's your expression. Two, 12 less than some number. We'll call the number n. 12 less means minus 12. So we have the expression n minus 12. That's it. Three, x more than 10. More than is plus. So we have x plus 10. That's our expression. Writing equations for verbal descriptions. Four. All the dimes and quarters in a piggy bank was $4.50. Let's call dimes D. I call quarters Q. Dimes are worth 10 cents. So 10 cents per dime. And quarters are 25 cents. So 0.25 per Q. So we have our equation is going to be 0.1D plus. 0.25Q equals 450. Sam is 8 years younger than Jamie. So we'll call Sam S and Jamie J. 8 years younger. That's basically going to be 8 years younger than Jamie's age is equal to Sam's age. So we could put J minus 8 equals S. Six, Kelly's test score is seven points higher than Mike's. So Kelly could be K and Mike could be M. So basically, Mike's score plus seven more would be Kelly's score. Seven, six less than twice the number X is four. So after analyzing this problem, we have six less, that's a minus six. Twice means times two. A number X is, is an equal sign, four. Writing systems give it a word problem. 
Sarah is collecting tickets at a football game. Reserve tickets cost $4 each, and general admission tickets cost $3 each. After the game is over, the turnstile count shows 1,787 people paid admission. Sarah counts a total of $5,792 from the sale of tickets. How many reserves tickets were sold? So first we will highlight some key words. Reserve tickets were $4 each. And the general admission tickets were $3 each. There is 1,787 people and the total money was 5,792. All right, now let's box the key, uh, the key numbers. We have $4 each it's for reserve tickets. And then for the general admission, that was $3. We have 1,787 people and a total cost of $5,792. So, we're going to set up our equations with two variables. We're talking about different kinds of tickets here. We have reserved and we have general. Let's let x equal the number of reserved tickets and y equal the number of general admission tickets. So if we add all the tickets together, you have 1,787. So the reserved would be x plus y, the total number of general, equals the total ticket sold, which was 1,787. Equation two, we're going to talk about this other number, the total, the total money in sales. And that would be however much the reserve tickets cost, which is $4. So four times X plus three times Y equals 5,792. This is the total amount of money. It's $4 for each reserved and $3 for each general. If you add those together, you get the total cost, the total price. You go shopping at a local department store with your friend and cousin. You buy one pair of jeans, four pairs of shorts, and two shirts for $84. Your friend buys two pairs of jeans, one pair of shorts, and three shirts for $76. Your cousin buys one pair of jeans, two pairs of shorts, and one shirt for $52. What is the cost of each item? So first, you want to highlight the important keywords. So you're shopping with you, your friend, and your cousin. You're buying jeans, shorts, and t-shirts. Your friends also buy jeans, shorts, and t-shirts. And your cousins buy jeans, shorts, and t-shirts. And what's the cost of each item? Next, let's box the numbers. So it's one pair for jeans, four pairs of shorts, two shirts, $84. Two jeans, one short, three shirts, $76. And then we have one jeans, two shorts, and one shirt for $52. Now, using these, we have three things that we're talking about. We're talking about jeans, shorts, and shirts. 
So for the variables, you could call baby letters you want, X, Y, Z. Let's go ahead and call them J, S, and T. Okay, so the first equation is what you are buying. You have one jades plus four shorts plus two t-shirts, and that is equal to $84. The next sentence, equation two, is what your friend buys. And that is two jeans, one shorts, and three t-shirts. And that's for $76. The last equation is for your cousin. Cousin buys one jeans, one pair of jeans, two pairs of shorts, and one t-shirt for $52. Now you finish setting up the equations on both of these. To get the answers to these systems, for today I will show you the shortcut on the calculator. So for the first word problem, to put this in the calculator, this is what you want to do. Turn your calculator on, go to calculate, press menu, three algebra, two solve system of linear equations. So when we look back at our problem, we have two equations. So you have two equations here, X and Y. Click OK. In the first box at the top, you type in your first equation. Then you press down, type in the second equation to the second box. And then you'll press enter. So after you've typed it in, double check to make sure everything is exactly correct and there's no commas here, it'll throw everything off. After you're done, go ahead and press enter. That is your solution. That basically means x equals 431 and y equals 1,356. So that basically means that there's 431 reserve tickets sold and 1,356 general admission tickets sold. For the next one, we'll put this one in the calculator. So to do that, you press menu, three algebra, two solve system of linear equations. In this one, there are three equations, so instead of two, we're going to put three. And that'll be x, y, and z. We're putting j, s, and t, so let's go ahead and change these letters to j, s, and t. But again, you could put any letters you want here. So you want to type the first equation into the first box, go down, second equation in the second box, go down, the third equation in the last box. So once you've typed these in, double check that everything looks correct, and then press enter. This is your answer. J equals 20, S equals 12, and T equals 8. That basically means Jeans cost $20, shorts cost $12, and t-shirts costed $8. So we could go ahead and write that on our lines. So remember, to solve these systems, after you've set it up, you go to Calculate, Menu, 3, 2. Let's talk about the last example for this. these notes today. Matrices. Translate the matrix into a system of two linear equations. So we have two rows here, two equations. 
And we have three columns. We have the X column, the Y column, and the constant column. So to translate this into a system of two equations, we just do this. We put 2x minus 3y equals 0. Next to the 2, we put x. Next to the negative 3, put y. Put equal sign between the variables and the constant. And then the second equation, we have negative 1x plus 1y equals 7. If you're interested in figuring out what this air section is, the solution is negative 21 comma negative 14. So x equals negative 21 and y equals negative 14.